Hey there guys, I am the Undead Paladin and I am going to play Mass Effect. To but I guess you're going to do it with a Twitch, Classified right? Information requested. Well, not exactly. I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to play Mass Effect 1. Confirmed. I'm going to do all side quests. Uh, all visible side quests, anyway. And... Um, I'm going to call, uh, call myself... Uh, you no, not UP, not UP. Um, let's call him uh, Matt, Matt Shepard. Um, and I'm going to play this on the hardest possible difficulty. And I'm going to play as an engineer, mainly power-based engineer. Warning. Data corruption detected. <laughs> We've got crappy computers in the alliance, as you can see. Please reconstruct profile. Confirm pre-service we'll history. will get better if you... Uh, um, if I'm not mistaken, I should check. Um, so, I am a spacer. Confirm psychological profile. I am uh, a war hero. And I'm going to play as an engineer. Uh, and apparently I can use as a bonus talent sniper rifles because I played through the game as an infiltrator before so we're gonna play hardcore I can't play on insanity yet apparently so let's go for hardcore uh, not no auto level normal target assist active squad power usage okay the rest is okay I'm probably gonna suck so bad at this <laughs> but I'm gonna try anyway Well, what about Shepard? He's a spacer, lived aboard starships most of his life. Military service runs in the family. Both his parents were in the Navy. He proved himself during the Blitz. Held off enemy forces on the ground until reinforcements arrived. He's the only reason Elysium is still standing. We can't question his courage. Humanity needs a hero. And Shepard's the best we've got. I'll make the call. In the year 20, uh, 2148, explorers on Mars discovered the remains of an ancient spacefaring civilization. In the decades that followed, these mysterious artifacts revealed startling new technologies, enabling and the rest I couldn't read anymore. I'm sorry, I should have started earlier. Anyway, I'm sure you could have read that all, and if not, you can pause the video and just read it all. The Arcturus Prime Look, a lot of weapons I won't use. So, I'm not that good in at this game, I'm pretty solid against, uh, we are connected. according to some of my cousins and some of my brothers, but I'm not that good at this game. Um, so I chose the engineer because I like the tech powers. Uh, one problem though, there's not a whole lot of offensive powers if I'm not mistaken in Mass Effect 1. So I might fail completely. And as you can see, graphics quite suck. Uh, I've got best possible graphics if I'm not mistaken. I'll check uh, in a in a minute to show you uh, to check to see if I can't make it look any better but I'm pretty sure I can't which sucks because it's a good game and it's from 2008 and it's not really great on graphical internal emissions sync engaged all things Drift, just under 1500k. And that's Captain Kelvin, Rooster. by the way. Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. 
The council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. Only an idiot believes the official story. They don't send specters on shakedown runs. So there's more going on here than the captain's letting up. Joker, status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach the Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the comm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? He sounds angry. Something must have gone wrong with the mission. Captain always sounds like that when he's talking to me. Can't possibly imagine why. So, every time I encounter a new character, I'm going to introduce him a little bit. This is Joker. Uh, he is the, the pilot of the Normandy, which is this ship. Um, he has Froelich Syndrome, a brittle bone disease, which makes him very vulnerable for uh, high G rates and stuff like that. He tries to solve uh, problems with humor. You'll see that later down the series. This is Caden Alenko. He is a biotic, uh, a sentinel, by the way, uh, which is one of the main classes. Uh, he uses biotics and tech powers to destroy his enemies fairly quickly. Um, one problem, though, with sentinels is they can only use pistols. Let's see if these guys have something more to say to me. Joker doesn't. Um, if I can remember, if I can remember the correct button. It's E, I'm sorry. It's been a while. He has nothing good to say. You probably don't want to keep the captain waiting, Commander. Neither does Caden. So I was going to check the graphics. Oh, uh, apparently I've got it set on medium. And this should be higher as well. Let's try this. Um, I'll be right back uh, to let my system acclimatize to these settings.